Okay, for all you Hermes fans, I've got a gorgeous 1969 Hermes 3000, and it's in fantastic condition. It looks brand new. I mean, there's just, there's a couple really minor things on this one, but it looks new. Um, it is this uh, gray with kind of a bluish gray color. It's gorgeous. This one even comes with the original warranty card and the um, the manual. So these are worth a lot. Um, it's great to have those along. So if you, and this has a lot of bills and whistles on it, so we're going to take our time going through it. So if you have a Hermes 3000 and you need to know how to use it, this is a great video for you. And if you're looking for one, hopefully this one is still around by the time you see this video. All right, let's um let's start from the very beginning so right here is going to be your paper holders and you just flip one up and both of them will come up and your paper guide and this is um you know the bar that holds the paper but it also i don't know if you can see this in the video there's a little red area on each side this shows you where your margins are set so the margin so on this, if you're used to Smith Coronas or Underwoods or something, um, it's probably going to take you a little bit of time to adjust to how things are a little different on the sides of the carriage. So this is the carriage. Here's your return handle. And then your one to your single or double spacing. Now, on the Hermes 3000, let's see if I can get this to show you. you have these white buttons. That is your carriage release. This is not your carriage release. And if you've used typewriters before, this is what you would probably think of as a carriage release. This is gonna be your carriage lock. Um, and so you just move that back and forth um, to unlock it, release the carriage and pull it right while pulling that up. So let's look at a couple of things. When you set your margin, so we're going to move this over. And I'm hoping you can see this little, it looks like an old thermometer. You know how they have the red mercury and the glass thermometers? That's what it looks like to me. So I'm going to set my right margin right here. And then I'm going to pull forward this lever. Did you see how it moved? Let me move this bale. See how now it moved to right here? That tells me where my margin is. To change the margin, you hold in your carriage release. I use this index finger. There's this little metal piece right here that you can put your thumb on and that's really what you use to move the carriage. And then with this finger, I'm gonna pull that in and Hopefully, there we go, and that readjusts. Can you see the red moving? That releases the margin, and then um, when you get to where you want it, let's say, let's do it right here. Release your third finger, and it's set, okay? Same with the right side. Your carriage release, left side, sorry. This is the left side. Your carriage release is this white little button, and then you have the same metal tab and you put your carriage where you want the right margin, left margin to be and pull it in and this little red area moves. Okay, so that's how you set the margins. And um, if you're like me, I kept setting the margins when I was trying to move the carriage because I'm not used to pushing a button for a carriage release. But the buttons on the side are your carriage release. Okay, so we're going to keep the carriage to the left and we're going to take a look inside the Hermes. And so what you want to do is kind of pull it forward and up. Um, sorry. There we, sorry, it is, it's backwards. So pull from the back and up and then up like this. It's backwards from other typewriters. Other typewriters, you pull from the bottom and up towards you. From this one, you pull up and then towards you. 
Okay, so you can see it has the uh, little metal arms right here. That's just kind of holding the spool in, and this uses a universal typewriter spool. And then your guide wires are right here. And so you can just pop those in and out. When you pop them back in, make sure, see one of these four holes? Make sure one of those holes falls onto the little pin that you'll see underneath there. This is your escapement. And your um, serial number is right here on the left side. Okay, to put this back in, you start from the bottom. And um, you'll see these curved edges. So you're going to want them to go underneath. Plus, you want this and this to fit over your levers. Levers, however you want to say that. Okay. And then pop down. All right. Okay, your color selector, and this has a variety of colors. It has one extra color plus your stencil selection. Um, I am not sure what that yellow is for, if that's a correction tape or whatever, but we don't have those ribbons. We just have the black and red. And then this is your touch selector, which determines how hard your type bars are going to strike your paper. Okay, now all of your tab, the nice thing about this one is the tabs are very easy. Um, I think I've cleared, you can hit all clear. This will take it probably to the big middle of the carriage. Oh no, it took it all the way to the end. And then you can go back and set. So one, two, three, four, five, tab set, tab set. And let's test that out. There you go. And then we'll take it back to the beginning, all clear. It's all clear again. There you go. Okay, and then your margin release and your backspace. All right, let's go ahead and do a typing demo. So um, slide your paper in against the paper guide. And let's turn on the handle. And this plate here, according to the user owner's manual, is supposed to be a nice solid service so it's surface so if you want to write on here you can and then I also learned you release the carriage there are and I never knew this on your plastic guides and I've seen them on other typewriters you'll see the little holes there that's so you can put like your pencil in there and then you can draw a straight line either going up by turning your handle or holding your pencil and moving your carriage back and forth so you can draw straight lines either vertically or horizontally. Interesting thing to learn. I learned that today. Okay, let's go ahead and do some typing. So the Hermes are made in Switzerland and they're very very popular typewriter because they're just known for how well they are made. They definitely have a very nice, more modern look to it. Okay, shift lock. Let's go back here. This types very well. It's very solid. The um, copy is, or the type font, sorry, getting crooked there is nice and clear and if that ever does get smudgy no matter what typewriter you're on just use um, a q-tip with either a little bit of mineral spirits or just a teeny tiny bit of water and just wipe off the ink that's on your type bars that's what's happening the ink is collecting on there carriage is really smooth. These are bouncing back up very nice. I mean, it really does feel like a brand new typewriter. Let's go back to the red.
make a mistake, you hit backspace and just type over. Oops, and hit one key at a time. There you go. Oh my goodness, this looks fantastic. So all you Hermes fans, you're getting um, one that looks like it's really brand new. Um, very few nicks on it. In fact, um, the only one I can see is so tiny here on the corner, you really don't notice it. It's type, It types perfectly. So I give this one a good A+. plus. This is going to be great for those of you who have longer typing projects, um, collectors, I don't really recommend this for a beginner because there are so many extra little bells and whistles on it and it can be frustrating. Plus it's going to be, it's not going to be more of a budget typewriter. This is going to be one for, but definitely a typewriter for somebody who knows, you know what you're doing with typewriters. You know how to use them. Um, you can change the ribbon easily on it and you appreciate the quality um, of a Hermes. And I hope you love it. Take a look at the link in our description below and look at the up close images of this gorgeous typewriter and whoever gets it, I hope you love it. And for those of you who already have a Hermes, let me know how you love your Hermes and what you are doing with it. And if you have different colors of a Hermes 3000. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and follow and you all have a blessed day.